in our study of two unknowns, it becomes important for us to be able to have a mental picture of the graph, 2D graph, and its relationship to an equation. So one of the early programs that I wrote is this one that's called Two Points, if I can find where I put it. Two points right here. You can see I've got a DOS sort of introduction. This was written in 1997. It seemed to me one of the most important things that we could ask Algebra 1 kids to be able to do. And I present the problem this way. We, of course, got a simple problem. It says here in the instructions, look at the two points and determine the slope and y-intercept, and then you can enter them. Now, I w wasn't sure about how to enter fractions in a text box when I did this, so I made a little box down here that says m is equal, and then you can send it up to the slope. But I believe that you can put a fraction in up here as well if you want. We'll do it both ways just to make sure my memory has not gone. But right here, obviously, the equation of the line that goes through these two points has a slope of 0. So that's that. And the y-intercept, if you imagine it going through here, is 2. So we just do that, and uh, we could check. And if it's correct, we'll put the line through and kill off the two points. It's sort of a curve fitting thing. Let's do another problem. This time, things are a little more complicated. First, let's use the box down here. The first thing we want to do is calculate the slope. And as we move from left to right, we have to rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're rising 8, and since slope is rise over run, and we are running 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 over 4. Or we could just put a 2 up there, but I've made it so you could put your fraction here and send, send, say send the slope to, to the equation. It will go up there. Similarly, now let's check. That's right. So you can either do the slope down here with a rise over run, and then send it up here. If I send this up, see, it's going to go up there. Or you can... Uh, you can actually put a fraction here. When I did the latest revision, I made it so you could put a fraction here because I noticed that sometimes in the lab, students would put a fraction here instead of using this box. But I left this here in case some people like to cal calculate the slope separately. So let's do a couple more here, a new problem. We want to calculate the slope. As we're moving from left to right, the rise is not a rise. It's a sinking. So it's going to be negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, negative 9, might as well use this box up here, negative 9 divided by, and the run as we go from this point to this is 2. And the y-intercept, let's see, we have to figure out where that would be. So we would go 1, 2, is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and if we go back two, we should rise nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like it's going to be off the screen, but it'd be at 13. And let's check. So it's possible that the y intercept could be off, and you have to extrapolate where it is. Maybe sometime soon we'll get one that's going to stay on the screen. Oh, another simple one. The slope here is zero. And the y-intercept is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Check, we win. This time, you can actually see where the y-intercept is. Here's negative 3. So you don't even have to calculate much. And the slope, as we're going left to right, it's actually going down. So it's down 2 to the right 2. You could say down 2 to the right 2. If we push this button, it's going to put a negative 1 up there. Or I could have just typed the negative 1 up in here myself. Check. We win. So you could get good at, although I missed one, you could get good at finding the curve fitting for it when you have two points. Let's look at another program while we're here that's just sort of like an expansion of this program. And it's called Guess a Graph. And it was made in 1997 at the same time. It's just putting a whole bunch of these together. We get a new problem, and I put points all over the place. 
and you have the same slope thing and I'm not sure whether you put the fraction here because this box is kind of small but you could come in here and see like right here let's try to see if we can find any points that line up let's see maybe not I don't know I don't know whether I don't think that points lining up with it. but let's say I look at these two points here no, let's just do an easy one. These two right here. This slope is rise to, run to is 1. And the y-intercept is 0. I put in some points here. And then I push graph. And it will, oh, I see I got three points killed off with one equation. So it's a game to see how few equations you could use. So this one has, a, these two points have a slope of negative 1, 1, 2, 3, negative 1 third. And it looks like we would rise 1, go back 3, and let's see, slope would be Negative one third it looks like it would be at one, two, three, three, two thirds. That's gonna be too hard to put in. I guess I wouldn't do that. Let's do an easy one. And see this one. I can't really extrapolate where that's going to put. It's going here, 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 here. Maybe it's going through zero. No, it's not going through zero, is it? I can't tell, but it certainly has a slope of one half. So I'll put point, point 0.5. And let's see, maybe I could put a ruler up there and see where those are headed. It looks like it's going to negative a half, negative 0.5. And we graph, and I'd say it killed those two points off. This one's right, really easy. It's a slope of zero and negative one graph. I think somewhere on my website I have the same program made for the Texas Instruments TI versions. You might look around and see a program if you really like the idea of finding equations to kill off points. And it keeps track of how many equations it takes for you to kill off the points that were put here. It's just a variation on the theme. These two right here are just screaming to be cut off. So that's negative eight, I think. The slope is zero. Let's do that one. Oops, no it isn't. Negative nine. I lied to you. I didn't mean to, but I did. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a question of just getting used to finding out e curve fitting and finding equations that would pass through various points. If you want to make sure that you're just having to do one of them, you could this instead of doing all these points and having to deal with it, you could just use the two point ones. This is the equation of a line. It's possible also when you study absolute value equations that you could choose that and here you would be given the chance to put in another form of an equation, something that we would study later. Thanks. I hope you have fun with this called Guess a Graph. Bye.